Hey guys, so in this video I'll be showing you the very best apps to customize your Android phone and if you want your lock screen to look kind of like mine then just click on the link on the screen right now and um, download Widget Locker. Uh, the next app is Minimalistic Text and that's what I use on Widget Locker. So when I unlock the phone, the first app you'll be able to notice is on the bottom right hand corner called Colorized Widgets. Um, this is a Facebook widget but there's many different types as you can see, contacts, calendar, bookmarks, etc. Um, on the left, there's an app called One More Clock. It's a widget app. This widget here is called Circular Battery Widget and there's different sizes and when you click on it, you actually get um, an overview of your battery usage, so that's quite handy. And on the top left, there's an app called Simple Calendar and that opens up to your calendar app. And there's different sizes as you can see there as well. So moving along, uh, this is an app called Cubed. It's available from the app market for free. And uh, you've probably seen it a million times if you watch my videos, but um, basically if you install the app, you should automatically get widgets when you long press the home screen. Um, this is another app called Alternative Drawer, available from XDA, and it's basically just a uh, um, app drawer replacement, which I really like. It looks nice and clean. So if you want your phone to look like mine and have a 3D UI, just click on the screen right now on the link. Uh, this is an app called Messaging Metro Beta. It's uh, kind of like a Windows Phone 7 feel for, a mess for your messaging application. And this keyboard is called a I type uh, keyboard and it's quite good it's got many themes and I recommend it very highly because it's one of the best keyboards I've used I think and um, highly customizable pretty much you know anything you can think of is on there so um, it's got many themes as you can see but I just chose the Windows 8 theme uh, so moving along this is an app called Windows Phone 7 contact it's um, once again another uh, Windows Phone 7 feel for your contacts and it's complete with the sliding animation since the new update so it's quite good. I like this and recommend it as well. This is another app called My Settings. It's uh, pretty good on any screen you're on if you just um, long press the home button and then go to My Settings it will come up over that. It controls most of your general settings. Um, this is another app called Astro File Manager. I think it's the best file manager out there, so I highly recommend that as well. And uh, for a personal assistant, you can't go past Janine for Android at the moment. Um, for videos, I use Mobo, Mobo Video Player, um, the pro version, but you can use the regular one. They're both quite good. Um, plays pretty much any format you can think of. Haven't had a problem with it, but um, yeah, it's quite good. Um, SFox Classic is the best text-to-speech engine I've found. Um, N64 OID for emulation, N64 NES OID for NES simulation. N64 was for N64 games, obviously. No LED notifications if you don't have an LED on your phone. Pop-up 7 Free is kind of like a Windows Phone 7 notification when you get a message, and that's really nice. Um, SD Card Booster it kind of speeds up the loading of photos and things that use the SD card. Speed boost generally just minutely increases the speed of the phone. It's not really noticeable on the Galaxy Note, but because um, it's a quick phone anyway, but just have it there anyway. Uh, for audio files, this is a must-have. You can um, customize the sound of the phone external speaker and headset using DSP settings. Uh, it's amazing, really. It makes such a difference to your audio sound, so I really, really recommend this one. And lastly, uh, for live wallpapers, you can't go past blue skies. If you'd like to see a list of live wallpapers, just click on the screen now. So yeah, that uh, basically sums up the video. I've just been having many, many people ask me uh, the same questions if I could just list that list of apps that I use. So um, there you go. So if you like this video, just please rate, comment, and subscribe. Cheers, guys.